are you an anesthetist or are you willing to be an anesthetist then this video is for you if you are an anesthetist you have to assess your patient airway thoroughly do you know why you are the one going to intubate your patients so you have to know whether your patient has difficult airway or not for that one of the world famous classification is called malampathy classification malampathy classification it assess the view of the oropharynx it assess the view of the oropharynx first of all you should ask your patient to sit like this then ask your patient to keep head in neutral position like this not like this not like this not like this not like this ask your patient to keep head in neutral position like this then ask your patient to open mouth maximally like this then ask your patient to put tongue out for true tongue out without pronation without sound ask your patient to put tongue out now you are ready to assess the patient malampathy score what you are going to look for is you are going to look for the uvula uvula and tip tonsillar pillars soft palate and hard palate and tongue as well if you can see all the structures that mean uvula soft palate hard palate and tonsillar pillars including uvula tip as well that is called malampathy class 1 that is called malampathy class 1 if you can see all the structures but part of the uvula is you can't see tip of the uvula you can't see that is malampathy grade 2 you can't see whole uvula but rest of the structures that mean tonsillar pillars hard palate and soft palate you can see that is malampathy grade 3 you can't see soft palate even you just see only hard palate that is malampathy grade 4 malampathy grade 1 2 associated with easy laryngoscopy you can easily put the laryngoscope but when you come to malampathy grade 3 and 4 it is dangerous it is dangerous it says extreme difficulty in laryngoscopy sometimes you have to find another way of intubation that is all regarding the malampathy scope by